Hi guys, my name is Urvashi Jain. I'm an MBA Gurgaon alum and I make videos on everything MBA on this channel, the MBA Guinea Pig. So, what is the point of today's video? Is that you have to Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is very simple. This tutorial is very basic. But you can pause it here, take your laptop and take it और फिर जैसे-जैसे मैं प्रेजेंटेशन बना रही हूँ, वैसे-वैसे साथ में फॉलो करते हुए प्रेजेंटेशन बनाना, ताकि आज डे के एंड में तुम्हारे पास अपनी पहली पार्पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन हो, and when you join college, you are not the one who says मैं रिसर्च करके लाऊँगा, मैं प्रेजेंटेशन नहीं बनाऊँगा, पर मैं रिसर्च सारी कर दूँगा। No guys, you're gonna be the person who makes the presentation like a boss because it's very very easy. Okay, let's begin. All right, guys. So first of all, open your Microsoft PowerPoint, and then I will tell you. This is like a uh, standard template that you get when you open PowerPoint. But how do you insert a template? So you go to this box, this Microsoft sign, and over there you see all these template options. So there are various installed templates. There are colored themes. Um, there are slides with different colors. So see, you have so many options, but I usually prefer a blank template, a simple white template. So that's what I am choosing today. All right. So now let's begin. First of all, like you see, you click and add your title. Of course, your first slide always has to be the title. So we are going with the MBA guinea pig. I would say do not pay attention to the text that I type in on the slide today. Just pay attention to the technique and try to follow it along. All right. So I've written the title that is the MBA guinea pig and then you usually follow it by your name and the date of the presentation. Now this is something you should do for a professional presentation. Always keep the date over there. I select all of it. I go back to home and now you see I left align it. All right. I also change the color of the text and I just bold it out. And I increase the font size. Now this is a very basic medium. Maybe if you've used Word before in your graduation, you would have come across this. Now that I've done this, do you observe that my slide is kind of uh, misaligned? You know, the title and then my name are not in alignment. So what do we do? You go to this View tab, and then you select this toggle called Grid Lines. You just tick over there, and then you see this graph kind of a layout. These lines will help you to align your presentation. So I definitely suggest using this feature every time you're making your PowerPoint presentation. Now, once I've done this, I go to my next slide. You go to home and you click on new slide. Okay. If you're very new to Excel, just click the title only slide. So that you get a starting point. Now I've selected the title only slide. And I just type in the title into it, how to make a PPT. I would say that the heading should always be bang on, like do not beat around the bush. It should literally be a summary of what you're going to put underneath on the slide. So I just give a basic formatting to it. I want it to be uh, a basic blue in color. So that's what I'm going for. Okay. And I want the text to be white. So that's what I've done. And then I'm just going to drag the borders. When I click on it, I get these dotted lines. So I'm just going to drag the borders and sort of format it the way I want it to be. Right? Okay. So this is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is I insert a new slide and I go to insert and I click on shapes. Try to do it with me. Insert shapes and then I choose a rectangle. All right. And then I draw this rectangle out. And then I double click on it. Once I do that, I can type in. So how to make a presentation. All right. I select all of it. Again, I left line it. Now that is up to you if you want to left align or center align. I usually left align and keep my text white in color on a dark background. Now I want this to be a dark blue. So again, I select it 
and then I go to my shape fill and I choose the blue color. Now one very important thing that you have to learn to do is do not always keep inserting new slides. Okay. Also add a slide number. So what I did was I went to insert. I clicked on header and footer. I clicked that I want a footer and I typed in the MB guinea pig as a footer. And I said that I don't want a page number on the first page. And then I just click on the apply to all. You see a page number and the footer appears. Next step, just copy this slide three and you then paste the slide rather than inserting a new slide every time, copy paste the slide. All right. And then once you've copy pasted the slide, just double click and change the text in the title. I'll show you in two seconds how this makes a huge difference in your presentation. Okay. Now let's uh, look at it on a presentation view. Let's go back to our first slide. Second slide, the heading moves. Third slide, you see there was a shift in the title. Fourth slide, it looks so much more professional. You know, the box remains over there, just the text changes. This is a very small tip for a professional presentation. Never ever insert a new slide once you've already made one slide with your title. Just keep copy pasting it and keep changing the text in the title slab. Now I insert a text box. Again, I go to insert, I click on text box and I insert a text box. And I just write, you know, I just type in three, four points in my text box. So how to choose a template, how to open grid view, how to add header and footer, this is what we've learned so far, but I wanted to look better. So I select all of it and I click on the pointer view. I don't like these pointers. So I click on the square pointers. Now this is the easiest way of just making the slide look a little better. I'm going to teach you another way of making the slide look professional. So I copy pasted the slide. Okay. I went on insert and I clicked on smart art. Okay. Remember insert smart art and then I want a process view. There are many options. I would rec recommend you to go on later and choose and you know, at least browse through all of them. I choose this particular template and I click on OK. Now you see, this is how it appears. I can also customize it according to my color scheme. So I go to change colors and I customize it to a dark blue. Don't keep more than two or three colors on a slide. So I'm going for a dark blue and a white color scheme. I do not really require a third color at this point. Okay. So now I just type the text in into this template. So you see, it's still like mentioning points, but it's just when the final product is ready, you're going to see how much better it looks. So today I'm going to teach you how to beautify the presentation, how to insert a table in it. And then finally, how to insert a graph in a presentation. Do not pay so much attention to the text. I'm just filling it in. Now that this is ready, let's again minimize the colors. So I just select those shapes. And I go to shape fill and I put the same blue color in all of these three. Now you see, I again copy paste the slide. I select all of it. Once you drag something, oops, I also kind of deleted my header footer, but that's okay. So now the next step, I insert a text box. Okay. So I taught you how to insert smart art. I'm now going to teach you another way of putting text in your slide and sort of beautifying it. Okay. So I put in three lines over here. PowerPoint is simple. PowerPoint is used by all people and PowerPoint can be learned quickly. Then we go to Google and we go to the site called the noun project. Okay. The noun project.com. And over here, you just type whatever logo you want. So I want a logo, which is a toy. I like this bear. So I right click on it. I copy this image. I go back to my presentation and then I just paste it. I pick up that image, drag it, minimize it. And I sort of place my points in such a way that they come in front of this picture. Basically it's a vector image and it does not have a background. Basically it does not have any background. It's transparent. So similarly, I choose 
logos for all the three points that I have. All right. So first we learned how to just put simple pointers. Then we learned how to put smart art. And now I'm teaching you how to put logos. So I choose this one again, right click, copy image and then paste. So you see, this is the third way I'm teaching you of putting text on your slide. Do you like it this way? This kind of gives a small cue, right? As to what is coming towards you. Yeah. Now copy paste the slide again. Now we're going to learn how to insert a table in PowerPoint. Okay. That is a table with data or a table with some text written in it. So I select all again, I drag out and I delete. Then I go to insert and I go to my table option. I click on insert table. I choose how many columns and rows I want. So I want three and three. And then I click on OK. I again customize the color as per my choice. OK, and then I just drag it down with the help of the grid lines and I place it on the slide in a way that it kind of fits the layout of my slide. So in case you did not pick up, just click on this table, go to design, click on design. And that's how I customize the colors. Now I fill the data, I select all of it and I center align the text. Okay. In a table, usually you should always right align numbers and left align text. But for this one, I'm okay just center aligning all of the text. So I did that and I again customized the colors to dark blue. Okay, now what are we going to learn next? We're going to learn how to insert a chart. So again, go to insert, go to chart and you have so many options, but today I'm going for a pie chart. Okay, so I get this Excel pop up automatically. All right. But if you see side by side, a pie chart has also appeared on my presentation. So you just customize the data according to what you want. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going for a basic what parts of a presentation take how much time this is like don't pay attention to the data. But I fill in some entries and I fill in the percentages in front of it. And if you see as I'm filling in, it's customizing my pie chart. Once this is done, you just close this Excel sheet. Okay. And your pie chart is ready. Now I want it to be again in the same color scheme. So I select it and I go back to my design tab and I select the color scheme of blues and grays. As I told you, I don't like too many colors. Then I right click it. I select add data labels because I want to show that each pie is what share of the chart. And then I just drag and kind of align it for a better view. So see, it was that simple. You have your data labels ready. And I again, use the grid lines and sort of adjust it on my presentation. So here's one way of data representation. Okay, copy paste it. And once you've copy pasted, now I'm going to teach you how to insert a picture in PowerPoint. So I again delete, I go to Google and I type MBA guinea pig. I mean the guinea pig since the channel's name is MBA guinea pig. I save the image in my laptop. Then I come back to PowerPoint. I click on insert and I click on picture. So it will take me to all my folders. I go to where I had saved the picture. I select the picture and then I click on insert. Again, just insert the picture and then adjust it as per the grid lines. I'm going to remove the heading from this slide since I'm trying to make a thank you slide. So I just uh, settle my picture. Then I just delete. I'm deleting this. And I'm inserting a text box. So go to insert text box because I want to write a thank you, right? So I inserted a text box and I wrote thank you. And I select all of it. And I just increase the font so that first of all, I can see it. 
and then I kind of settle the color. Okay. Now, as I'm formatting it, try to understand one thing. I had decided to first get the picture and then put the text. But what if you had put the text and then the idea of getting a picture came to your mind? In that scenario, click on the picture and send it to back. So you see, I've sent it to back. So click on the picture, send to back. When you do that, whatever text you have underneath your picture will come to the front or on top of the picture. All right. So I'm just demonstrating by moving thank you around that thank you is on top. But this is still a problem. So I select the picture and I go to my format tab and I click on contrast. And then I choose a minus 40%. You see, the background is completely gone. That was that is because it will only happen for pictures where the background is of a single color. Over here, it was on a single blue color. So the contrast like completely remove the blue color. If this is too complicated for you, just go for a very simple paste picture and send it to back so that your text comes on top of it. But that's it. My presentation is ready. Let's go through whatever we learned today. All right. So you click on the small sign. We learned how to open the grid view, enter the title and the date and name. We learned how to enter a new slide and put the heading, the header and the footer. How to enter the pointers in front of your text. How to enter smart art. Then we learned how to enter vector icons for pointers. Okay. Then we learned how to insert a table using PowerPoint. We learned how to insert a graph and then we learned how to insert a picture and send it to back and how to use your cursor to present. And with that, we are finished. So, one guy presentation. Please comments me ja ke likho ki tumhe ye tutorial useful laga ki nahi and was it easy enough for you to follow because I also intend to make a tutorial for you to get you started with Microsoft Excel because I know that is also something a lot of people are scared of and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep in touch with things which happen at MBA. Please like, share and subscribe. Tum logo ka support mujhe bohut zyada motivation deta hai ki mein videos banati raho. With that, bye bye. Mwah.